How you doing guys? We're getting ready to start the backsplash. Uh, Julie couldn't wait last night. She had to put a couple pieces up, but we're going to be uh, finishing this up today. Uh, these little towels, we got them from Home Depot, and they're just a sticky towel. I'll show you what one looks like. There's not much to it. Just got a little backing on it. You just peel it off. It's just like a decal. And uh, you stick it to the wall, which is very easy to work, very easy to work with. And uh, that's what we're going to be putting on the, the back wall. You've probably seen them in one of my videos. But I think they really look nice on the wall. I think they're going to really look nice. So Julie's going to be working on that while I'm, uh, we're going to get ready to cut the linoleum. Uh, I did the best I could on the linoleum. I'm not sure whether it's going to match in here, but uh, didn't have much to choose from. So anyhow, these little towels right here, if you get them at Home Depot, they're about $10 a piece. And you get a 10 by 10 uh, square out of it. If you buy them by the box, you can get a box of 12 for about $71. Uh, so they're a little bit pricey, uh, especially if you have to buy single ones. So I bought two whole boxes to do the back wall, and then we wanted to do the back, or this little chair rail going around here. We was going to do the same thing on it, the same as the backsplash, and just take it all the way around the uh, camper. So hopefully we have enough, uh, and we can get all this all this done here and should look pretty good all right I'm gonna get one started here to show you guys how this works uh, you just get one end on the top here and, and just start peeling your backing off you don't want to take all the backing off you're just gonna peel the top side off just like so so you got it like that just kind of bend over the piece in the back like that and then we're gonna stick it up and what I've done here is I just lined this up with my uh, ceiling here and then what you're gonna do is kind of line it up with the other towel leave a little bit of a space there between each one make sure you got it lined up with your ceiling as best that you can now you might be able to tell at the bottom when you get down here Now you want to work your way down the wall and kind of get them overlap right on that one with that other seam. You can see the little seam right here. I'm trying to keep them right with that seam right there. And just keep pulling your paper down as you go. And work that seam right down there. All right, just like that. You can make sure they're pressed on there good. They say they don't need any other glue or anything, and just make sure they press on nice and tight. And then go to your next one. I'm going to do this. I don't think you guys want to watch it all. It's easy as pulling the back off and putting it on. Just like a decal. Basically all it is is a decal. So I'll show you when we get it all finished up here. Alright guys, I wanted to show you the uh, backsplash. It turned out pretty nice. We just did a little bit of caulk down in the seam all the way around. And up them two creases right there. So we want the dip to be straight off. So those, we put a little bit of silicone on them and went all the way around the outside edge and we also got the this piece back here uh, almost all done but that just goes around the border and I got a little bit more to go up this side then we'll have it done. Alright we got the linoleum laid down uh, we did the best we could and just got it in we did get it all in one piece we still gotta go around the edge and trim it up a little bit but uh, I'm going to show you how we, what we did to cut this thing. Believe it or not, you can see in the garage now, we got most all the wood and stuff cleaned up we was working with. My wife just made a, a paper uh, template of the whole entire floor in there, taped it all together, 
and then uh, bring it out, laid it on the linoleum, and then cut it out with a knife. Just taped it down to the linoleum and cut it out with a knife, and it worked great. So, and we're within, you know, maybe a an eighth inch of trim around the edge, so it should actually be perfect when we're done. Let me see if I can find this roll of paper we used. All right, here. Okay, here's the uh, roll of paper that we used, and this is something you would put on the floor, like if you was painting or something like that. You'd roll it out so you don't mess up your linoleum or whatever. But that's what we used to roll out on the floor and make a template. And I think it might have been, I don't know, 15, 16 bucks a roll. Of course, we got a lot more left, but we could always use it on another project somewhere. All right, I went in town and got three of these screens. There's three different sizes. You can pick them up in town. They're actually for the drain. I put one down in here to keep any food or anything from getting down in there. And the nice thing about these little screens as they're stainless steel and stainless steel won't rust so as you guys remember I put the air vent underneath of the camper um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted a piece of stainless steel for on there for that screen to keep any critters from getting up in there no I don't know if this will hold out them desert rats they were telling me about it probably won't but I know it'll hold out any snakes or spiders or anything like that. So that's what I used on the bottom of there. So all I got to do is take this underneath the camper and screw it on. And uh, we got our clamp pretty tight. And if anything ever happens to this thing, we'll just go in town and buy us another one of these and put us a screen over it. Now I'm not sure that this would fit over a 4 inch pipe, but it did fit over the 3 inch pretty good. I got it wrapped down around there. It's pretty decent on there. Oh, uh, not too bad and I got it pretty tight so it's not going anywhere uh, it kind of got a nice little bubble to it and that's going to give us a little more air so I got all I got to do is screw that up underneath the bottom all right that's what it looks like on there it don't hang down too low I cut a little bit of the threads off of it I cut just some of the threads off of it so it wouldn't be too low but it's real close to about the where the leaf springs are going down you can see over there so I don't think we'll have any problem with it hitting anything. I think it's going to be pretty good right where it's setting there. We'd have to be really close to the ground in order to hit something with that. So hopefully it keeps them rats out. 